One of the benefits of using Ref6 is we give you a way to record time just how you want to do it. To set this, open up the menu on your Ref6 mobile app and click on settings. You'll then find timer options and tap on that. In here, you'll see all the different timer options that are available to you. You can choose whether you want to see two timers or three timers on the watch face during a game. Each timer can be completely configurable. You can choose whether you want a continuous timer, which we call elapsed, a count up timer that starts from zero and counts up and will stop every time you tap the watch, a countdown timer that starts at whatever you've set the half length to be, so 45 minutes counting down and it will stop when you add injury time, or an additional time timer which will count when you've stopped the clock. My recommendation would be to have a countdown timer as your timer one, elapsed timer as timer two, and an additional time timer as timer three. That way you always know how long's left, how much time you've played in the whole game, as well as how much injury time you have um, recorded during that half. Some referees in the second half like to see the clock start from 45 rather than from zero. So you can simply turn off the reset timer to zero for second half to allow that to happen. On the settings screen, you can also choose whether you want to start the halftime timer automatically or if you want to select it and start it yourself. That's all the different timer options available.